bunch of here, Monster here. Um, I'm here on the Inca Trail. This is day three, uh, being guided through the trail actually by our wonderful guide Juan, who is uh, from Peru. And uh, he was telling us yesterday about how glaciers are retreating around Peru. And I thought uh, I would uh, ask him again and he could talk a little bit about what's happening with Peru and climate change. Well, uh, buenos dias a todos. Good morning. Uh, we are here in the Inca Trail. And as uh, my friend Shakir said, yesterday we were talking about the glacier. Here in the Andes, a couple years ago, our glaciers, it was amazing, was bigger, uh, for example. But now, it's uh, melting, getting less and less every year by global warm. You know? Because, you know, some big countries polluting a lot and like an uh, answer of the nature, you know, the glaciers melting. And when the glaciers are melting, uh, the, the, the season of uh, all the seasons are changing. For example, in which season, the last year in, the, uh, in December was not raining, it was uh, frozen at the night, and many crops was frozen. And now all these crops was lost for all the farmers. Now probably for this year, the cost of some products like a maize or potato, the price will grow up because it's dry. This is because many people, it doesn't take care the nature. It doesn't take care Pachamama because Pachamama is our house, our home, uh, and no one's taking care. Are people in Peru uh, pretty aware of climate change, uh, global warming and, and concern generally? Yes, yeah. yes. In the city, it's okay, you know, because you can make some money, you can go to buy something. But in the Andes and Andean villages, you know, the people, they're worried about it. Yeah. Because it's not the seasons of, uh, like uh, years before. The mm -hmm. You know, they depend a lot of the season. Yeah. For star farming, they need, they're whitening the rains. Mm -hmm. If the rains coming late, they are farming late. But for the next year, at the frozen time, the cold season is coming early. Mm -hmm. So all the products cannot end the production. Sure. And for them, and all, like for our produce, it's hard. Uh, because the main activity in all the Andes is farming. Right. Also, it's in the mountains here, from very hot. And Juan's an interesting person to talk with because he has a background not only uh, in leading mountain climbers up these glaciated mountains uh, for uh, over eight years, but also he's been, uh, he has a background in farming. Your family uh, did farming as well, right? Yes. Yeah. So. Actually, my family farm, you know, we farm many crops, you know, quinoa, amaranthus, uh, potato, different kind of potatoes, oca, anu, and more products. Uh, and also, as I told you, we have a lot of llamas, alpacas, uh, but year by year, but also by the global warm, uh, the grasses, it doesn't grow like years before. before. And now it's a good trouble because there is not enough food or there is not enough grass for the animals. For the animals because it's not only our family, the rest of the family also has their Ranma, no? their llama, their family, so. their livelihood. And please, if someone see this and someone could could do something, yes, we can do it because you, me, and you, we can keep our house clean, not polluting anymore, and no more buying plastic. Thank you. Excellent. Thanks a lot, Wander. Appreciate it.